Jaden, talk about just the you know, you guys. You hear us, Ben? I can't hear anybody. You guys know? Testing one, two. There you go. I go. You got it. Um, Jaden, you guys started slow, but we're able to finish the first half strong. Just talk about how important that was. Uh, just important just just keep trusting the things I do. Um, day in and day out in the court, uh, off the court. Just keep playing my game. Shots are going to fall. You're going to have nights like that when uh, you don't hit shots early. But I was able to finish strong and help my team, and we were resilient tonight. Jaden, this seemed to be a different feel from the Wesleyan game, obviously, the other day, just on the court and some of the energy. Did, did you enjoy this one? Did it, you know, I don't know, feel a little different and more intense? Yeah, it was It was, um, It was. was more upbeat, more intense. Um, some fans came. My dad was able to come today. Uh, it was more uh, kind of a little bit more lively, you know. We'd like to get some more fans in here, but it, it was nice to know, have reinsurance that some, some of those people's families came to the game. Um, but yeah, they was they was ready to go, and they had they had a little more spirit to them than the previous teams we played. Jaden, another good night for you. Um, talk about what you feel like this team is in, improving most on, and what you got to get better at. Um, I think we're improving most on uh, just like so far, uh, our communication has been really good, and um, our offense offense has been really good. And I think we're learning on defense. We had a really good second half on defense able to get a lot of stops, um, but we're still improving. We still got a lot of work to do, but that's good. It's good that we're improving and winning at the same time. So it's a long season, and we're going to keep improving from game to game. Hey, Tom, with a 3-0 start, how do you feel about going ahead? You've got a big game on Monday, UNCW, and a couple more non-conference games before you play SMU on the 16th. Uh, I've never been 3-0 here, so I'm ecstatic. Um, first time ever happening, so I just want to keep it going. Um, Get used to this feeling and keep winning. And uh, yeah, we had a quick turnaround Monday. Uh, we had to uh, get get prepared for scout tomorrow and um, tomorrow Sunday. Yeah, dang. We, oh wow, wow. Yeah, so <laughs> get prepared uh, for scout on Sunday and then uh, play again on Monday. Wow, I did not. Oh, we had two days. Oh, wow. So yeah, quick turnaround, kind of like the NBA. So uh, yeah, we had some guys tired, but we just got to push through and get ready to hoop on Monday. That's best I can put it. Uh, Jaden, it seems like Noah's really brought a spark the last few games. I know he's still learning a lot as a freshman, but can you just talk about the spark he's brought? Yeah, Noah has all the Noah has all the talent in the world. Um, he can basically do anything you ask him to do on the court. It's just about being familiarized with the offense, knowing the plays, and just gaining coaches' trust. And I think by day by day, he keeps working in practice. He keeps getting that trust. And as we see in the minutes, keep going up for him. And the sky's the limit for him. He's a really talented player. And um, I like playing this out. Anything else for Jaden, guys? All right, thanks. Coach will be in momentarily. Questions? Oh, a good win. Um, we were, we, they sort of put us on our heels early. I thought their aggressive defense sort of had us a little uh, backed up. And I thought they also did a nice job, especially of getting downhill and after being down 19 to 10, I thought we responded pretty well. The guys sort of uh, picked up the, the pace, and, and I, I thought we did some good things. I thought our defense the second half was good and uh, did some solid things, but there's obviously a lot of room for improvement in a lot of areas. Coach, you hold Morton Robinson and Ali under double figures today. Um, you got them at 14 turnovers as well. Pretty good outing for you guys. I know things are not going to go perfect in the first couple of ball games, but you've got to feel good about the way things are headed. We've got to do a better job of not giving up easy baskets at the rim. And it's, it's hard. I'm watching games, you know, throughout the country, and uh, it usually doesn't feel like this way. But to me, it seems like this year that the offense is a little bit ahead of the defense. I mean, you know, guys are getting downhill and forcing fouls and getting to the free throw line, which we need to do a better job of getting to the free throw line. But uh, we need to guard the ball better, which is one of the harder things to do. Uh, the team we saw today and the team we'll see on Monday or do a very good job of trying to get downhill with the bounce and, and, and take you off the dribble, and that's something that we got to keep working on. Hey, Coach, I noticed uh, even pregame, Radford was um, just had a lot of energy. Their players were into it and making a lot of noise, and you said that kind of rolled in the first half a little bit, but I imagine you're pleased with the way your guys responded there and 
it kind of bounced back from Radford's, you know, first start? I thought our guys were, I mean, it's our guys' is energy. I mean, the, you know, the officials told me a couple of times to get our guys to sit down, which, you know, I understand one side of that, you know, you're not supposed to, but the flip side, there's no one in the arena. Let, let the kids stand up. If they, you know, if Radford's kids want to stand up, stand up. If, I mean, they're trying to create some energy in an atmosphere in an unprecedented time, you know, it's, you know, let's have some, let the kids have some fun, but uh, I thought our energy was good. I thought they, they, they knocked us back a little bit. They, they pressured us, you know, they played small, which I assume they were going to pressure us, but they did. Uh, we, we were a little amped up to tell you the truth. You know, eight of those points were for the first 10 of their first 12 were off of mistakes. I thought we were overly aggressive. We got rejected on ball screens, which was all that resulted in six points to begin with one drive and kick. We got lifted and, and didn't wall up in the post. We gave up another scattering court play. And then all of a sudden that's 10 points. And, you know, maybe a little too empty. And, then, you know, the ball didn't go in the basket early, but I, I thought we responded. Uh, got a little momentum going to the half. I think we went on about a 21-2 to two run and uh, sort of felt a little bit more comfortable. We didn't give up fouls at the end of the first half and at the end of the second half. I thought we actually did some good things defensively. Coach, you, you guys barely get anything from Newton and J.J. and still win by 13. Is that encouraging uh, just because you know they'll score? Yeah, JJ's been, you know, JJ just is not back. And, you know, he, he missed from Sunday to Wednesday, and I think it's going to take him. He lost a bunch of weight. It's going to take him a few days. So uh, he, he was gassed. You know, he's got to get back in some playing shape. We'll get him in here tomorrow and, and get some shots up. It was good that he got some game minutes. Uh, Tristan didn't have one of his better games. Uh, you know, it just seemed a little lethargic. And uh, But, you know, you still want him out there because he can make free throws and he can pass the ball. Uh, and he's a good ball handler. But the, I think it's good. You know, we got some – I thought that uh, – and Tyree gave us some good minutes. I thought that Noah gave us some good minutes. And I thought our bench helped us. I thought, obviously, you know, Batumba gave us some good minutes also. Let's talk about Noah Farrakhan with uh, 11 points today. I know you got to be proud of him being a freshman. He seemed to be afraid to play at this level. I think he's, he's, he's extremely talented. Once he starts to totally master everything we're trying to do, which he's getting better at, and he's a freshman. So he's, you know, I, I think the big thing is there's a trust factor. I'm starting to trust him more and more. Uh, the, the, you know, the, the more things he understands and comprehends, the more you can trust him. And uh, he, he does some things naturally that you can't coach. I mean, we'd all like to take credit for it, but it, you can't. I mean, he's, he does things that you just can't coach. He knows how to get a shot. He's confident. He's put on a really good high school team, so he's used to playing with good players. And, uh, you know, he did. I thought what I was proud of wasn't the 11 points. It was actually I thought he was solid defensively. I mean, he was running around chasing guys off the of lines and trying to stay in front. I thought that was what really impressed me more. You hold Radford to uh, eight points under their average. You get 22 points from your bench, and you shoot 12 for 14 from the stripe tonight. There's a lot of good stats there to to work from. Yeah, and we didn't turn it over. I mean, I, I, that's you no know, at ten at ten turnovers again. You know, we've been at ten or under all three games. Last year at this time, it was it was ten or under at the ten minute mark of the first half. You know, we'd have ten or more turnovers. So the guys are starting to understand the value of the ball. Um, you know, I do think we you know there's obviously a lot of things we got to get better at. And uh, it, but it's early in the season, though. So I think it's different for everybody with no exhibitions, and but we're all in the same boat. So just they try to adjust and, and figure it out on the fly. Coach, can you just talk about this extremely quick turnaround to the UNCW game one day? You know, it's it's going to happen during the season. I sort of like it because you get to see what it's like during conference play. You know, uh, it's going to be an ongoing process. I mean, as you guys know, I mean, who we're playing on, you know, Monday and Thursday and going down, you know, it's, it's a day-by-day -day deal. So, we'll, you know, obviously they've, they've, they play very fast. The kid Sims is averaging 26 points a game. They've got four guys averaging double-figure points. So, Cora is a really good player. Gadsden is a very good player. Boggs is averaging double-figure points. We'll, we'll bring them in tomorrow. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll practice tomorrow afternoon. We'll walk through everything. We'll put them up, and then we'll, we'll you know, bring them in early on uh, Monday morning, walk through their stuff, and then uh, get ready to tip off on, on Monday afternoon. So what's the big thing you got to do against Wilmington to be successful? Well, there's a, there's a number of things. They're going to put their head down and drive it. Uh, you know, the, obviously they've got four guys averaging double-figure points, very aggressive offensively. Um, my guess is, you know, they, they do like to play fast. Uh, so you're going to have to find some. You know, he's been on a roll. Watching against Troy and Western against Asheville, he's on about as good an offensive role as I've seen in a while. So we're going to have to figure out how to guard him and, and, and not let those other guys go crazy also. Coach, does uh, your depth, especially guard, speak to, you know, the guys, your starting lineup was different from the five you ended with, with Jackson out there and Noah, obviously. Does that just speak to the options you maybe have different situations at guard? 
hard and how that can help you? A little bit of everything. You know, Trey sort of cramped up a little bit there. And uh, so we took him out. He needed he needed a sub. So we put Noah back in. I thought Pig played really well. You know, like we talked about, it wasn't one of uh, Tristan's better games. So, uh, you know, JJ to me is just trying to ease his way back in after, uh, you know, almost a week off. So um, once we got going a little bit, because I thought Brandon was very good after a shaky start. I thought Brandon Suggs was very good after a shaky start. And those other guys got to play. And I think we have a pretty good sample size on what Brandon can do. So it was time to see, you know, maybe a little bit more of what Noah could do and some of these other guys. And it's been a hard deal for Charles because a lot of these people have been playing smaller. You know, we, I mean, when we play small ball and, I, and when they went with the two, you know, when they went with 13 and 14, the really small forward or forward type guys, those are hard for Charles to guard. Um, so, you know, I, I like it when those people start playing some big guys so we can, so we can get him in there also. You guys good? All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys.